Hi, I'm Emma, and I'll tell you a terrible story which will make your blood run cold. Please like this video so that I felt better recalling all this horror. I really need your support now. Once Katie, Nicole and I were thinking how to have fun during our summer vacation, and then Katie got an idea to go to Indonesia for the whole summer. Wow, great! We'd spent several weeks studying the rules of visiting this country, like what's prohibited there, what clothes not to wear, and so on. And when we were ready, we hit the road. I felt a real adventure was waiting for us there. Here I'll distract a bit and tell you a couple of words about my friends, so that you knew who I have to deal with. Katie is the leader of our trio. She does sports, she's well-built and maintains an active lifestyle. She was the one who suggested such an extraordinary trip. And Nicole is a bookworm in glasses. She usually spends her time in libraries and reads a lot. It was she who brought loads of books on Indonesia and made us read them and then pass an exam. Sure, she was the examiner. As about me, I'm very shy and quiet. When I was in the primary school, I was constantly bullied for my appearance and personality, but Nicole and Katie always supported me. But back to my story. When we had finished unpacking, one of us noticed a booklet describing the sites nearby. Look, girls, what a beautiful lake we have near us! Let's go there for a swim right now! Soon we found the path which was supposed to take us to the lake. Oh, what's written here? Nicole fixed her glasses and said in a trembling voice. It was a warning. There were lots of snakes in these places. We had to be careful. Oh, please don't say you'll give us a lecture on reptiles of the Squamata group now. <laughs> of course she did. While we were walking to the lake, Nicole said recently the inhabitants of Indonesian village of Kurukzevu on the Jaffa Island caught a 15-meter-long python. Its weight reached 447 kilos. The media wrote this was the longest snake ever caught by humans. The previous maximum fixed in the Guinness World Record book was an almost 10-meter-long snake. Well, it's good they caught it then. Now everything will be fine. I cheered the girls, but surely I tensed inside. But this feeling was soon gone. Look how beautiful it's in here! We saw incredible views! Katie and I immediately jumped into the water and were squealing like crazy and only Nicole harped on that in Indonesia it was prohibited to scream loudly, otherwise the locals could get angry. Four hours flew by without us noticing. Katie offered to have dinner in the hotel, but I never wanted to leave that magical place. You go, girls! Take seats in the cafe, and I'll catch up with you later. And now I'll swim a bit more. Ah, oh, I really don't want to leave, but I need to eat, and it's dark already. I went to my clothes, when suddenly I felt I'd stepped on something round. I looked down in frozen horror. It was the tail of a huge snake. I flew and then realized I was running not to the road at all. But it didn't matter, all I needed was to get away from the creeping beast. I ran as fast as I could, but then my foot got caught in something and I fell head over heels. Oh no! Come on, Emma, stand up and run! But it was too late. The huge python caught up with me and started entwining my body. My arms were fixed behind my back and I had no hope to fight the snake off. My legs remained free though and I started swinging them in all directions, but it only got worse. The snake pressed me even harder and its huge head popped right before mine. How awful! I cried, please let me go, please! The snake looked hungry. Just don't say, today I'm on your menu. Let me bring you something from a cafe instead, will you? But the snake opened its mouth and oh my goodness, it started eating me! What are you doing? Stop! The snake swallowed my head, then moved to my neck and shoulders. I felt I was falling into some elastic narrow passage. Hell no, I'm not sitting still for that. I started kicking my legs back and forth, but the snake didn't even feel it. Then I suddenly felt the process stopped. My waist and legs were still outside. What's happened? Could it be my size was too much for the snake and it would spit me out right now? I have to kick more actively and to hit my head on its esophagus. Spit me out right now, you jerk! But then the eating resumed, 
The snake swallowed my torso and then my legs. In a minute, I was all inside it. No one heard my muffled screams and I couldn't believe this all was really happening. Wait a sec, but this is all a dream. We are taking a nap in the hotel and I'm seeing all this in my sleep. This lake couldn't be this beautiful, it's all fantasy. I mentally ordered myself to wake up, but this didn't work. Then I tried again, with the same result. And then something very caustic touched my skin. There, in complete darkness, I finally got it. The python had just swallowed me and was now slithering away to digest the prey, so it started producing gastric juice. Now I'm doomed. No one hears my cries. No one comes to my rescue. There'll be nothing left of me, not even a single bone. My mind slowly died. Farewell. Light was shining through my closed eyelids. Where am I? In heaven? Then Katie and Nicole rushed to me in tears. They said something about hospital and that they shouldn't have left me alone by the lake. Wait, so this was all true? Not a dream? I really was eaten by a snake? Turned out it was so. Nicole said the cafe had closed before they came and they decided to go back and pick me so that we didn't get lost and had dinner together. They saw my crumpled clothes on the lakeshore and understood right away something bad had happened. Katie followed my trail and caught the time when my legs were in the snake's mouth. In panic, the girls rushed to call help. Luckily, there was a hunter nearby. While he was dealing with the snake and saving me, the girls called the ambulance. A couple of gastric juice burns is all what's left after this incident. In several days, I was discharged, and we booked tickets for the next flight home. The Python case really unsettled us all, and we wanted to leave this place as soon as possible. I'm fed up with snakes for the rest of my life, and I hope they are fed up with me too. Did you like the video? Subscribe and like! Support the channel. Thank you.